I'm Willie Fluharty. I'm the director of the Nexus Center for Global Studies at Cape Henry Collegian School in Virginia Beach, Virginia. My experience is in international business. I worked in Turkey and Bangkok and Mexico and London and Ireland. And I got into education and I realized almost at the first day of class that our kids were globally illiterate. They couldn't pick up a newspaper and really have a clue what was going on around the world. They just didn't know. It wasn't on their radar. They were very much inwardly focused on Cape Henry Collegiate, Virginia Beach, Hampton Roads Community of Virginia, and maybe the state of Virginia, and maybe a little stuff in the, in the national scene, but globally, no way. I went on and after the Iraq war started, asked students years later, even today I've asked students, why are we at war in Iraq? And 80 to 90 percent of them don't know the answer. And 90 plus percent do not know the answer of why we are at war in Afghanistan. And that's exactly why we need to globalize our students so that they're more aware of what we as a nation are doing abroad. And that's not just militarily, that's economically, trade, uh, sanctions, foreign policy, World Bank, IMF, it's an all-encompassing thing. The other question you talked about is the role of experiential education in global. Um, we're firm believers that kids need to go out and they need to have five senses involved in their experience. They need to live it to learn it. Um, at least that's our philosophy. And I'll give you a great example. I teach international economics and I can tell a kid that there's a billion people that live under a dollar a day. For them, it's just a statistic, a billion, whatever. When I take a kid abroad and they see what that really means, it changes the number. It adds meaning to that statistic. And here's the example. I was in Namibia, northern Namibia with the Himba tribe, and we were doing a service project. And I came around the corner, we were working at a little school, and one of my students was in tears. And I went, oh my God, is she okay? What's wrong? And I said, well, you okay? And she goes, yeah, this little kid just came up to me and she was rubbing her stomach. And I thought she was saying, my name is. And I, I, so I said, my name is. And she goes, no, the little girl was rubbing her stomach and she said, food, hungry. Her only two English words that the kid knew. And she was like asking and begging for food. Well, my student gave her power bars. Everything she had, all her power bars, gave it to the kid. She was crying because she suddenly realized what under a dollar a day means to the existence of these people. That experience changed the way she sees the world. And that's why experiential education is so important for our kids. It's not just about books and movies because they're relatively meaningless. But when you see it, you smell it, you taste it, you touch it, it changes who you are. That girl today will never ever look at that number again a billion under a dollar a day, the same as she did before.